All right, I'm gonna re-rant for YouTube right now. And the rant I did was about talking bad about art you've never done, done, done anything with. If you're going to discuss an art, you should at least put some significant amount of time, a significant amount of time into that art, training that art. If you do not train the art, you don't know the positive or the negative aspects of it. You may not even realize what the art's about. I was listening to someone today talk about people not sparring when they're using live blades. Well, I'm not going to spar with a live blade either. I'll do most of it in a kata, a form, or some sort of training exercise. Of course, I don't think these guys, whoever it was, really understood some of the arts they were talking about because I don't think they trained. Now, I also do Filipino arts, and most of the arts, although you're using a, a stick or a tan stick most of the time, are based on the blade. Therefore, some of the actions you do is to manifest sensitivity with a blade, even if you're using a rotan stick. But you only know this if you start to train these arts and work and read books. Read books. Don't watch YouTube videos. Read more books. YouTube's for, for fun and entertainment and a little bit of instruction if you know who you're listening to and what you want your instruction from. Some are good, yeah, some not so good. And again, the way to determine that is to train the different arts. So that's where I'm going with it. Oh, yeah. You see, I have a katana in my hand. I really have never trained the art of Aido or Kenjitsu or Kendo, but I wanted to relate a student, uh, relate, relate a story I heard. And it was about this martial arts school that, like many of us, I do, I give birthday parties as well, had a birthday party. And it was for, for a grandson of, of a Japanese fellow. And of course they had the birthday cake out there. And the instructor, this is a story I, I heard, I have no idea who it was. And the instructor, but I have seen some of this stuff done. The instructor brought out katana. And the gentleman, the grandfather was Japanese. Very traditional Japanese. Rather excited when he saw, oh, a katana, this is, could be something really good. Well, there's a cake, there's a cake laying there, and the instructor pulls a katana, goes up to the cake, and proceeds to cut the cake with the katana. Well, as some of you may know, such an action with a katana, and I'm being on PC at this moment, I believe, with this katana itself, such an action with a katana, traditional weapon, might be sort of uh, insulting to some people, which at the time it was. So again, if you're going to talk about any arts or use any aspect of any arts, do as much research, research as you can. Ongoing research is excellent too. Never stop learning. Read books. Books, and I say books, I, books are much better than looking at uh, Kindle editions because it sticks, you have it, you have the paper in your hand, it sticks better. Read books, build your library, build your, build your martial arts library. Maybe I'll show you mine sometime. It's kind of cool. All right, catch you next time.